you know, we always finished strong. I knew we would in the second half. Obviously, going down to ten men didn't help. But even although with ten men, we probably played the best football we did all all game. And you know, got our second goal. Had some opportunities to get a third there, but I thought we were we were looking the better side. So disappointing outcome, unfortunately, uh, brought on by a disappointing first half. Karşılaşmayı nasıl yorumlarsın? Genel bir değerlendirme. E, tabii ki hayal kırıklığı oldu bizim için. İlk yarı iyi anlar yakaladık. E, golü de attık zaten. Ama sonrasında e, karşı tarafta rakip, rakip de iyi oyun oynadığı için e, biz de iyi bitiririz genelde karşılaşmaları. Yani ikinci yarıda daha kendimizi gösterebiliyoruz. E, bunu da aslında yaptık. Ama e, elimizden geleni yaptık ama e, bir hayal kırıklığı oldu bu karşılaşma. Ekotevi Sezgin gelmez. Buraya puan kaybetmeden geldiniz ve ilk yenilginizi aldınız. Galatasaray'dan böyle bir futbol, böyle bir oyun bekliyor muydunuz? Galatasaray Premier Lig'de olsa sezonu kaçıncı sırada bitirirdi? Teşekkür ederim. No, look, we, we expected a, a tough game here. Obviously, they, they've been in good form all year and undefeated at home. And uh, I thought the game was as expected. You know, they um, obviously said they have some dangerous players and you need to control the game with the ball better than we did tonight. And, um, you know, I think um, that first half ultimately cost us, uh, you know, cost us the game and uh, disappointing for us. And I said, Galatasaray are a good side. Uh, we know that, um, and you know they're in a good position. The Europa League is as are we, and uh, hopefully that continues. Zor bir maç olacağını zaten bekliyorduk. Yani beklediğimiz bir Galatasaray'la karşılaştık aslında. Tehlikeli oyuncuları var, bunu biliyorduk. İlk yarı bu sonuca vardığımız için aslında böyle bir yenilgiye, yenilgiyle sonuçlanmasına sebep oldu. İlk yarıdan kaynaklı, yani ilk yarıda istediğimizi gösteremedik. Onlar da biz de ligde iyi sırada, iyi, yani Avrupa'da iyi durumlardayız. O yüzden iki tarafta iyi durumda. Um, hi Anj. Um, can I ask you about Will Anj Firstly scoring a goal on what I think is only his second start, but then also what happened with the red card? Yeah, look, uh, you know, Will you know, he took his goal well. He worked hard for the team. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, he hasn't had a lot of experience in senior football, so I think he would have learnt a lot today. And, yeah, red card, you know, it's just, a, I think, a bit of uh, over-enthusiasm in that moment to to give away a foul. So, um, but he'll learn from that and... Uh, yeah, you know, same with with Lucas. You know, giving him an understanding of the levels here, it's it's not easy um, when you're playing away in Europe. But you can only sort of <coughs> allow them to to learn that by exposing them to it. And uh, I thought Archie was great. You know, he, he obviously had a you know it was a tough game uh, for us defensively um, at different times. And I thought you know we'll get so much growth out of him. He's not playing in his position. And um, you know, I guess for. You know, three te- teenagers in the starting lineup. You know, I think they'll learn a lot from it, and um, and hopefully they, um, you know, that helps with their development. Kırmızı kart alıp aynı zamanda golü de atan Langsier ile ilgili bir soru geldi. Nasıl değerlendiriyorsun durumlarını? Takım için iyi çalışan bir tecrübeli bir oyuncu ama bugün yeni bir tecrübe de aslında kendine katmış olmalı. Yani bir şeyler öğrenmiş olmalı bugünkü yaşadıklarından dolayı. Kolay değil Avrupa deplasmanında oynamak. Defansif olarak da zorlandığımız bir maç oldu. Dolayısıyla öğrenecek yani biz de o da bu hatalardan öğreneceğiz. Karar gazetesi Furkan Uzun. Bu sezon Avrupa Ligi'nde ve Premier Lig'de Toplam 110 koiner kullandınız fakat duran toptan sadece 4 gol buldunuz. Bugün hiç koiner kullanamadınız. Yediğiniz ilk gol bir duran top organizasyonu sonucu sayılabilir. Takımda bir duran top zafiyeti olduğunu düşünüyor musunuz? Bir. İkincisi de son 19 maçta ikinci kez kalenizde 3 gol gördünüz. Rakibinizin üçlü defansla çıkması sizin için bir sürpriz mi oldu? That's the first question. And did you expect Gala will be with the uh, uh, three the, the on defense? Yeah, I don't know what you mean by set pieces. I think um, yeah, we're fine with set pieces, and uh, yeah, we expected them to to start even when they play with four at the back. They really build up with three, so we expected that. 
üçlü defans oynamalarını bekliyorduk zaten. E, bu duran toplar konusunda da zaten e, durum belli yani. Dolayısıyla çok bir yorum açıkçası yok. Anlaşılır fanatik. E, Tottenham bu sezon deplasman oynadığı tüm e, maçlarda e, topa daha fazla sahip olan takım ama e, ilk kez Galatasaray'a karşı topa daha fazla sahip olamadı. Bu bir tercih miydi yoksa Galatasaray mı Tottenham bu şekilde zorladı? As I said, we were uh, especially in the first half, we um, we gave the ball away too much. Um, not because of the opposition, we just lacked some composure and. Um, You know, we needed to be a bit more calmer on the ball, and because we weren't, we we allowed sort of, as I said, Galatasaray to get a foothold in the game. <clears throat> you know, we we kind of knew that if we could keep the ball well in the first half, we'd finish strong, but we didn't do that, and like I said, we paid the price. Final one, please, Matt. Just wait for the answer. İlk yarı çok top kaybettik. Galatasaray topa daha iyi hakim olabildi. Dolayısıyla da bunun bedelini aslında bu yenilgiyle ödedik. Alanç. Can you can you give us any thoughts on why the first half started that way? Is that just a risk you take when you change the team? Did, was, did the atmosphere play a part? Was it just um, all down to Galatasaray being exceptional? No, I don't think so. Like, I think I mean it's probably a combination of all those things. But I just felt we were it was it was self-inflicted. We we just you know we had real simple solutions out there to keep the ball and. As we showed with 10 men, it wasn't that difficult to do. We just didn't, you know, and, and you know, individuals within that just needed to to kind of be stronger on the ball and, and make sure we, we just play, you know, the kind of football that we try and do every week. And we didn't do that. We, yeah, maybe was a little bit of the um, the changes I've made and the, and and the environment or the atmosphere, whatever you want to call it, the opposition, but. The moments that stick out to me are when there's no pressure on us and we're still giving the ball away. I think that's um, you know we just need to be better in those moments and and because if we're better in those moments, then you know you kind of minimise the threat the opposition has. But also, we get a foothold in the game in the areas we want to, and then we can you know I said we we did it with ten men. We were playing through them quite easily with ten men, but you know with with eleven we we just know we didn't have anywhere near the conviction we needed to. So it's disappointing. Ee, i̇lk yarı sence neden bu şekilde e, sonuçlandı? Neden e, kendinizi gösteremediniz? Atmosfer mi acaba etkiledi sorusu. E, e, bilemiyorum. 10 kişi kaldık zaten sonunda. Her hafta oynadığımız gibi oynamaya çalıştık aslında bu karşılaşmada da. Ama onlar topa e, çok iyi hakimdi. Önemli kayıplar yaşadık. E, ve bu hatalardan dolayı da e, sonuç olarak bu şekilde bitti. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.